Mary Sanluta, working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication, Mary. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the problems on the joint density function and the marginal density function of a random variable x. The first problem is find the value of k with the joint probability density function of the bivariate random variable x comma y is given by f x y of x comma y is equals to k into one minus x into one minus y if zero less than x less than one and zero less than y less than one and it is zero otherwise. So what they have given? They have given the joint probability density function of two random variables x and y. It is nothing but f x y of x comma y. And what you have to find it out? You have to find out the value of k. So how do you find out the value of k? It means we have to use which we have to use the properties of the joint probability density function. What is the probability? Nothing but the area under the joint density function is equal to what infinity. Nothing but integration minus infinity infinity x is and y is from minus one infinity f x y of x comma y dx y is equal to one. Nothing but what it is a area under the joint density function. So, for a proper joint density function, that should be equal to what? 1. So, find out the area and make it equal to 1. So, integration minus infinity. And what are the values of x and y they have given from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1? In this range, what is the density function? k into 1 minus x into 1 minus y. So, k into 1 minus x into 1 minus y dx into dy. Now, what are the limits of x here? 0 to 1. And what are the limits of y here? 0 to 1. That equals to what? 1. And then, so, since k is constant, bring it outside. So, k into integration of 0 to 1. So, 1 minus x into dx into integration 0 to 1. 1 minus y into dy is equals to 1. That equals to k into. So, what is the integration of uh, 1 minus x? Nothing but x minus x square by 2. And what are the limits of x here? 0 to 1. And the integration of 1 minus y with respect to y is y minus y square by 2 and the limits are from 0 to 1. So, make it equals to 1. Therefore, what is the value of k here? k is equals to 4. It means, in order to find out the value of the constant k, we have used the properties of the joint probability density function. What is the property of use? The area is equals to 1. This is a condition for a proper density function. So, by using that condition, to find out the value of any constant. And second problem is, if the probability density function is given by f x y of x comma y is equals to 6 by 5 into x square plus y square for 0 less than equals to x less than equals to 1 and 0 less than equals to y less than equals to 1. And it is 0 otherwise obtain the marginal PDF of x and that of y and hence find p of p here nothing but probability. P of 1 by 4 less than equals to y less than equals to 3 by 4. So it means what they are given? They have given the joint probability density function. What you have to calculate? You have to calculate the marginal probability density function of the random variable x and similarly the marginal density function of the random variable y. After that, you have to calculate the probability that the random variable y takes the values from 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. So, the given value is nothing but f x y of x comma y is equals to what? 6 by 5 into x square plus y square. For what values of x when x is from 0 to 1 and y is from 0 to 1. And it is 0 otherwise. Now, if you know the joint density function, how do you calculate the marginal density functions? What is the formula for that? If you want to calculate the marginal density function of the random variable x, we have to integrate the joint density function with respect to y over the limits minus infinity infinity. Therefore, what is the marginal PDF of x is nothing but fx of x is equals to integration minus infinity infinity fxy of x comma y into dy. Now, what are the limits of y they are given? 0 to 1. In this limit, what is the density function here? 6 by 5 into x square plus y square. Therefore, you can write this as what? 6 by 5 integration 0 to 1. What is the density function here? So here 6 by 5 into 
x plus y square into dy. See 6 by 5 is constant, I bring it outside. Therefore, 6 by 5 integration 0 to 1 x plus y square into dy. Here, the integration is with respect to the variable y. So, when you integrate with respect to the y, the x term will be get constant. Therefore, 6 by 5 into. So, what is the integration of here? So, then what can you obtain here? 6 by 5 into. Integration of x is nothing but x into y plus integration of y square nothing but what? y cube by 3 and the limits are from a to y 0 to 1. So, if you substitute the upper and lower limit, then what can you obtain here? 6 by 5 into. So, in place of which variable you have to substitute the limits because the integration with respect to y, you have to substitute in place of y. So, x into 1 plus 1 cube by 3 minus 0. And then nothing but what? 6 by 5 into x plus 1 by 3. For what value of x when x is from 0 to 1. Therefore, what is the marginal density function of the random variable x? f x of x is equal to what? The marginal density function of the random variable f x of x is equal to 6 by 5 into x plus 1 by 3 when x is from 0 to 1. And similarly, what you have to calculate? You have to calculate the marginal probability density function of the random variable y. Then what is the marginal density function of the random variable y is nothing but f of your phi. So, if you want the marginal density function of the random variable y, you have to integrate the joint density function with respect to the variable x over the limits minus infinity and infinity. Therefore, what is f y of y is equal to integration minus infinity infinity f x y of x comma y into dx. And what are the limits of x they have given the problem? 0 to 1. In this 0 to 1, what is joint density function? 6 by 5 into x square plus y square. So this is x plus y square. 6 by 5 into x plus y square. So, 6 by 5 into x plus y square into what? dx. So, if we integrate, then what is the answer you are going to get? 6 by 5 into y square plus 1 by 2. So, we will simplify here. So, 6 by 5 into what is the integration of x plus y square? So, integration of x is nothing but what? x square by 2 plus integration of y square because with respect to x we are doing this y square is constant therefore it is a constant the integration of y square nothing but with respect to x nothing but y square into x the limits are from 0 to 1 so substitute the upper and lower limits then what can happen here 6 by 5 into 1 by 2 plus y square therefore what is the marginal density for the random variable y nothing but f y of y is equal to 6 by 5 into y square plus 1 by 2 when y is from 0 to 1. And moreover, what you have to calculate here? You have to calculate probability that the random variable y takes from 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. So, you have to calculate. Then, probability that one would, the random variable y takes from 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. How do you calculate the probability? So, from the properties of and the properties of the density function, if you want to calculate the random variable x takes the values from x1 to x2, then if you know the density function, how do you calculate the probability the random variable x takes from x1 to x2? So, integration of x1 to x2, fx of x into dx. Now, what you have to calculate? You have to calculate the probability that the random variable y takes, nothing but p of it is y here, the limits of y1 and y2 are here, 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. Then what can happen here? 1 by 4 to 3 by 4, f y of y into dy. Therefore, what is the probability that the random variable, random variable y takes from 1 by 4 to 3 by 4 is equal to integration, 1 by 4 to 3 by 4, f y of y into dy. And that equals to, what is the density function of f y of y, nothing but? 6 by 5 into y square plus 1 by 2. So, when uh, what is the range of y? They have to take here 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. It means 1 by 4 to 3 by 4 is in this range 0 to 1 only. You can write the density function as what? 6 by 5 into y square plus 1 by 2. Now, the integration with respect to y, therefore, 6 by 5 is constant, bring it outside. So, integration of y square nothing but y cube by 3 plus 1 by 2 into integration of 1 is nothing but y. Therefore, y by 2 
and the limits are from A to where 1 by 4 to 3 by 4. Now substitute the upper limit in place of y and then substitute minus lower limit. Then you can obtain P of 1 by 4 less than equals to y less than equals to 3 by 4 is equals to what? 0 0.4625. Next question is the joint probability mass function of two random variables x and y is given by P x y of x comma y is equals to k into x plus 2 y for x equals to 1 comma 2 and y is equals to 1 comma 2 and it is 0 otherwise where k is a constant. So what you have to calculate, you have to calculate the value of k, first one, second one you have to calculate the problem, the marginal probability mass function, here PM of nothing but probability mass function, so x and y and third one you have to calculate all these x and y are independent or not. Now, what type of random variables here, x and y are of, which random variables are of, discrete random variables, because x, y is taking like only 1 comma 2 in between and we don't have any values. Therefore, they are discrete in nature. Similarly, the random variable y is also taking only two values. They are countable, they are finite values. Therefore, x and y are of discrete random variables. So, in order to find out the value of k, what you have to use? For, for continuous random variables, then what is the condition here? fxy of the area and the density function is equal to 1 for continuous random variables. For discrete random variables, in place of integration, you are going to get what? Sigma. Then fxy of xi comma yj is nothing but the probability one, nothing but pxy of x comma y only is equal to what? 1. Now, so sigma x equals to what is x value here from 1 to 2 and what is y value from 1 to 2. In this, what is the probability mass function k into x plus 2y. So therefore here k into x plus 2y is equal to what? 1. So since k is convenient outside, so, so now substitute y equals to 1. Then what can happen here? K into sigma x equals to 1 to 2. Now substitute here y equals to 1. So if y equals to 1 then what can happen here? X plus 2. If y equals to 2 then what can happen here? Plus x plus 2 into 2 nothing but 4 is equals to 1. Now substitute x value as 1. So if you substitute x value as 1 first. So 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4. So this is what? x equals 1. If x equals to 2, then what can happen here? 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 is equals to 1. Then implies what can happen here? So 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 is equals to 1. Then implies k into here 10 plus 18 is equals to 1. Therefore, what is k equals to here? 1 by 18. And second one, what you have to calculate? You have to calculate the probability mass function of the random variable x. So, for a continuous random variable, how do you find out the probability the marginal density function of random variable x nothing but fx of x is equal to what? You have to integrate the joint density function with respect to y. If you want the marginal density function of x, you have to integrate the joint density function with respect to y over the limits minus simply infinity. This is for what? Continuous random variable. Now, for discrete random variable, in place of integration, what can happen here? You will get the sigma. So, in place of the joint density function, so fxy of xi comma y nothing but what? The probability of pxy of x comma y only. So, with respect to y are doing, therefore, the summation you have to write with respect to y. Then, what is sigma y cos from a to where? From 1 to 2. So, in this, what is the probability mass function they are given? k into x plus 2y. What is k value here? 1 by 18. So 1 by 18 into x plus 2y. So bring this 1 by 18 outside, then what can happen here? Sigma y equals 1, x plus 2y. Now substitute y equals to 1. Then what can happen here? x plus 2 into 1, nothing but x plus 2 plus, next what is the value of y? 2. Therefore x plus 2 into 2, nothing but what? 4. Therefore what is px of x equals to x plus 3 by 3? For what value of x when x is from 1 comma 2? And similarly, you have to calculate the probability mass function of the random variable y. So, for continuous random variable, how do you calculate the probable, the marginal density function of the random variable y? If you know the joint density function, you have to integrate the joint density function with respect to the which variable. If you want the marginal density function of y, you have to integrate with respect to x over the limits minus infinity comma infinity. 
Now for discrete random variables, in place of integration, you are going to get what? Sigma. In place of density function, you are going to get what? The probability, the joint probability. With respect to x is nothing but you have to take x. So sigma x p x y of x comma y. And here, sigma x, what is x value they are given from 1 to 2? And what is p x y of x comma y is equals to k into x plus 2 y. What is k value here? 1 by 18 into x plus 2 y. So 1 by 18 is constant when you get outside, then you can write this as what? 1 by 18 into sigma x equals to 1 to 2 x plus 2 y. Now substitute 1 by 18 into x value is 1. So if substitute x equals to 1, then what can happen here? 1 plus 2 into y plus. If you substitute x equals to 2, then what can happen here? 2 plus 2y. In place of x, you have to substitute. Therefore, what can happen here? 1 plus 2y plus 2 plus 2y by 18. <coughs> if you simplify, then what can happen here? 4y plus 3 by 18. Therefore, what is the probability mass function of the random variable y is equals to 1 by 18 into 4y plus 3. For what values of y? When y is from 1 comma 2. And with the third condition they have given, you have to find x and y are independent or not. For independent random variables, then what is the joint probability? Pxy of x comma y is equals to what? Px of x into p of y. For continuous random variable, what is the condition you write down? Fxy of x comma y is equals to what? Fx of x into fy of y. This is for what? The Two random variables x and y are conditioned for independent if they are continuous random variables. If they are discrete random variables to be independent, what is the condition then? P x y of x comma y is equals to what? In place of density function, you are going to get the probability. Therefore, P x of x into P of y of y. Now, what is P x of x here? 1 by 9 into x plus 3. So, what is P x of x here? 1 by 9 into x plus 3. So, Px of x is they have given as 1 by 9 into x plus 3. And what is Py of y is equals to 4y plus 3 by 18. So, multiply these two. So, Px of x into P of y of y then equals to x plus 3 by 9 into 4y plus 3 by 18. So, what is then Pxy of x comma y? They are given as what? 4y plus 3 by 18. So, 4y by plus 3 by 18 is not equals to x plus 3 by 19 into 4y plus 3. So, what is the uh, probability mass function they are given? k into x plus 2 by here. Sorry, here. k into x plus 2 by. So, 1 by 18 into x plus 2 by. Since these two are not equal, then you can say that the given random variables x and y are not independent random variables. Therefore, in today's lecture, we have discussed about the problems on the joint density function as well as the marginal density function for both continuous random variables as well as the discrete random variables. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.